Hello everybody and welcome to Theory Pop, taking a refreshing look at the movies, games and TV shows you love. Today's subject is Bendy and the Ink Machine, and we're looking at the pattern that seems to be emerging since the release of Chapter 2, The Old Song. Just for those of you who may need a quick refresher, here goes. You play as Henry, coming back to the animation studio you used to work at 30 years ago with your friend, Joey Drew. The studio is empty when you arrive, and you're left with the task of turning on the ink machine. Once the machine is activated, Bendy appears, forcing Henry to flee and fall into the basement. In Chapter 2, Henry makes his way through the sound studio, encountering Sammy Lawrence, who now appears to worship the living Bendy. Forced once again to flee from Bendy, Henry escapes and moves to a new part of the workshop. Now we just have to wait for Chapter 3 to find out exactly where we are, and just who Boris is. Though there are only two chapters released so far, there seems to be a pattern emerging, a common theme that could link them together and serve as Bendy's motivation for hunting down the members of the studio. Bendy is looking for his missing pieces. Now, I don't mean there are literally parts of Bendy missing. Bendy is trying to make himself whole, to complete his transformation into a full living being, and to do this, he needs to be able to experience what living means. Bendy is absorbing the ink-transformed workshop staff to take their senses. Bendy has been made into a living being, but he is incomplete and imperfect, and as such, his senses are not as refined as our own. Humans have five senses. Well, actually, we have at least nine senses, and some neurologists claim we have as many as 21. Hey, something you were taught in school is actually false, who knew? For this theory, we're going to focus on the commonly held five senses that humans have. Sight, hearing, smell, taste, and touch. This matches up with the number of chapters Bendy and the Ink Machine will consist of. The Meatly has already revealed that the story will be made up of five chapters in total, confirmed by the game's main menu. Each of the chapters could line up with one of the five senses, and each chapter will feature a character that embodies one of the five senses, acting as a totem of that sense. Take chapter one, moving pictures. The first chapter of the game is very much focused on sight. Our first experience of the game, our first introduction to the world of Bendy and the Ink Machine, is visual. The letter from Joey Drew. The letter appears on screen, a simple block of text we are left to read for ourselves. No one narrates it for us, not Joey, not even Henry reading it aloud to himself. Our focus is on reading the letter ourselves, and in this moment of the game, sight becomes our primary sense that we focus on. After this, we are left to explore the first section of the workshop, revealing several projectors running, lights shining beneath doors, and the occasional bendy cutout moving. We are seeing everything through Henry's eyes. There are some atmospheric sounds and audio cues, but the game very effectively uses visual cues as its primary focus for our senses. Even the title, Moving Pictures, is focused on the visual aspect of animation and film. This is what Henry was here for. Bendy wants to take his sight. Let's take a look at our first encounter with Bendy. He appears behind the boarded up doorway, reaching through in an attempt to grab Henry. Bendy is blindly grasping for his target. He is aware of Henry's presence, and reaches for him in his general direction. And we know Bendy lacks clear sight from his appearance. His eyes are covered by ink. He doesn't have his full sight yet. His eyes are literally missing, and he wants Henry's. Jumping ahead to the encounter with Bendy in Chapter 2, we see again that Bendy's eyes are missing, still covered by the ever-present ink. But this time, when Bendy gets close to Henry, Henry's vision begins to fade and go dark. This is Bendy trying to absorb Henry and take his sight. Getting too close to Bendy results in the screen fading completely to black, as Henry's sight is completely taken by Bendy. It makes sense for Henry to be the target for Bendy to take his sense of sight from. As an artist and cartoonist, Henry would have a great eye for detail, and as one of the original team that worked on and designed Bendy, it would only be fitting for Bendy to want to absorb his sight in particular. This theme of the five senses carries over into Chapter 2, The Old Song. Again, as with Chapter 1, the title refers to the sense that is the primary focus of this part of the game. Sound. Unlike with Chapter 1, we have no letter to read this time. We are instead treated to a rising warm-up of an orchestra as the chapter title fades in, setting up our senses for a more audio-based gaming experience. Though we are still treated to some great visual experiences during this chapter, the Aural experience is heightened compared with Chapter 1. There are more audio tapes featured in this chapter, and more music. This entire section of the game also takes place within the sound department of the studio. We explore the orchestra room, and see the recording booths for the voice actors of the animations. Sammy Lawrence himself is the composer of the music used in the Bendy cartoons, and the puzzle to access his sanctuary is based on musical instruments and playing them in the correct order. When Sammy tries to summon Bendy to accept Henry as a sacrifice, he implores of Bendy. Hear me, Bendy. Arise from the darkness. Arise and claim my own. Free, I beg you. 
Bendy instead attacks Sammy, allowing Henry to escape immediate danger. The after credits image of the chapter shows Sammy's mask on the floor, resting in a puddle of ink. It appears as though Bendy absorbed Sammy, taking his hearing. This is evidenced in Henry's encounter with Bendy. Earlier in this video, I pointed out that during this encounter, Bendy's eyes are still covered by the ink, as they were in Chapter 1. But in Chapter 1, Bendy was not aware of Henry's exact location. This time around, he is able to follow your movements quite precisely. Just what has changed? This time, Bendy can hear where you are. He is following the sound of Henry's escape through the corridors of the workshop. So Bendy is trying to make himself whole by absorbing the workshop staff that best represent each of the five senses. Sammy Lawrence, being the musical composer and audio director for the workshop, was the best embodiment of hearing that Bendy could hope for. Henry may be his target for sight, as shown by Henry's vision growing dim when Bendy gets near him. Just who is next on the menu? Are there any clues in Chapter 2 as to what sense Bendy will want to take next? Let's hope we get a taste of Chapter 3 soon, along with more of that delicious bacon soup. This has been Theory Pop, thanks for watching. Hey YouTube, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Bendy and the Ink Machine theory. What are your thoughts on Bendy's actions in the game? What are you most excited for in Chapter 3? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, click the like button, hit subscribe to stay up to date with the latest theories, and I will see you in the next refreshing episode of Theory Pop.